Hello there. My name is Luann Lonergan and I'll be your registered nurse today. Can you tell you, me your name? Lori Hurdle. Okay, and your birth date? 38. Okay, and I would um, be looking at an armband here? Mm -hmm. Good, all right. Well, Lori, I'm just going to be doing an abdominal assessment on you today and I wanna get the bed up a little bit okay. so I'm at a good height. I just wanna ask, have you urinated lately? I did, I okay. just went right before you came Wonderful, because sometimes that can be a little uncomfortable mm -hmm. when I'm pressing okay. and things like yeah. that, so you did urinate. Mm -hmm. Are you having any abdominal concerns? None at all. Alrighty, very good. So I'm just making sure I'm going up a little bit here. And I wanna make sure that you're comfortable, so I'm going to put a little pillow underneath your legs here too. That sometimes helps a little bit. Okay, and you can put those down. How's that feel? It feels really good. All right, good. Um, I'm going to use, when I, when I do um, use the stethoscope, I'm gonna use the diaphragm side. So I'm gonna get that cleaned off right now. And then I will be using the bell also. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Okay, Lori, I'm just going to lift up here and I'm just gonna take a peek at your, at your abdomen. And I kind of, when I'm looking at that abdomen, I kind of divide it into four quadrants from the xiphoid process all the way down to the symphysis pubis. And then I divide it right in half at the belly button or the umbilical area. I'm just taking a look, it looks real good. You've got a few moles here and some cherry angiomas, they, they call those, those look real good. I see a bit of a scar here. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, is there, you've had a, a scar? Skin cancer. Okay, so you've had something there done, but it looks nice color. It, it is, um, it's got good skin integrity. It's got, it's a whitish color with some pink undertone, so it looks real good. I see her breathing, and that's normal. I see just some respirations going on here. I don't see any venous patterns. That's abnormal. I don't, I do not see any venous patterns. I don't see any, I'm kind of looking, sometimes I can see on, on, uh, uh, on more slender people, some um, aortic pulsations. I don't see that. I'm just seeing her nice respirations here. I'm gonna go off across the side here and look across. And Lori's got a very nice flat abdomen. Um, there's, there's, there's nothing protruding. It's very flat. And it, I like to go off to the side here and see it from the side. So things look real good. Her abdomen is very symmetrical. Before I even do that, if she was distended, we would call it, I could measure. And so I think I'm gonna just do that. We are going to measure the abdominal girth. Put this tape measure underneath. I'm gonna use the centimeters. I'm gonna have you just bend your knees and scoot up, there you go. And if she would be distended, I could really measure this across the umbilicus. And for Lori here, she's got 77 and a half centimeters. And if she was distended, I could measure that shift to shift and see if it's growing in, dis, dis, um, in the distended area. So um, if it were, I could even put a little marking here off to the side so I would know where to keep the tape measure each time I measure it. But Lori, things look good here. So I'll let you scoot up again. Thank you. Now what I'd like to do, I'm going to listen to her abdomen and I'm going to, I need a watch, and I should hear one to four sounds in each quadrant in every 20 seconds. So I have to listen at least 20 seconds. Hmm? And I wanna just warm this up a little bit. I'm gonna use the diaphragm. So I'm gonna warm it up a little bit so it just doesn't shock you by being so cold. All right, so I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna start on the right lower quadrant because there's an ileocecal valve there and if I'm gonna have any bowel sounds, it's gonna be there. So I'm going to just put my stethoscope in and I'm going to listen. And when I hear one, I'm gonna put my finger up. Lori, there was about five there. Hype, you know, one to four is normal, five. So, all right, I'm gonna go to the next quadrant.
five again. I'm hearing good bowel sounds here. There's five. A little hyperactive. There was five there also. So good job. And then I'm going to go right down here. Wow, that one was three. Okay, so very good. So I've just listened to bowel sounds, and I would say that there's three that are a touch hyperactive. One to four is usually normal. She's five, and I would say that's normal for Lori right now, and this one was three. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the stethoscope to the bell, and I'm going to just set it down lightly, and I'm listening for any abnormal brewies, we call those, and those are abnormal sounds. I should not hear them. They're whooshing sounds, so I'm going to see if I hear any brewies, so I'm going to go over the aortic area first. I'm going off to the, the renal area. And the other renal area. Now I'm going to go to the iliac area. And I'm not hearing anything. And I could go over the femoral areas, would be here and also over here. If she had a gown on, I would do that. Okay, very good. So I did not hear any whooshing, abnormal whooshing sounds. Sometimes you can hear a heartbeat, a light heartbeat, but I didn't hear that at all. Um, on lighter, you know, on thinner individuals, you can sometimes hear that heartbeat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to palpate, and I'm just going to start. Lori, do you have any pain, any areas? Mm -hmm. If she has pain, I want to palpate in that quadrant last, because um, I, I don't want to um, cause that pain to transmit elsewhere on the abdomen. So I'm going to just start here, and I'm going to just light palpation with my finger pads. Lori, how does that feel? Any pain? No pain at all. I'm not feeling any masses. There's no guarding, and so I'll go up here. How does this feel, Lori? Fine. Real nice and soft. This is nice and soft. Beautiful. Okay, so her um, abdomen is very soft, and there's non-tender. And the last thing I would do is I would go above that symphysis pubis and just palpate for that bladder. And I'm not feeling anything there. But if she had bladder distension, it would be just above that symphysis pubis. So that looks real good. I think that really, you know, Lori, things look nice and nice and good. I'd say you can go have your lunch then. I'm going to pull your shirt down. And before I go, I'm going to put the bed in low position and um, wash my hands.